Welcome to today's technical analysis of locomotive multiple unit operation. We'll examine the engineering principles, control systems, and power distribution methods that enable multiple locomotives to function as a single integrated consist. Following the feedback from our previous video on locomotive multiple unit operation, we've created this comprehensive technical deep dive to address the confusion and unclear explanations. This corrected and enhanced version focuses on the precise engineering details and eliminates the ambiguities that many of you pointed out in the comments. Multiple unit operation begins with proper mechanical and electrical coupling. Modern locomotives use standardized AAR couplers with integrated electrical connections through jumper cables. These 27-pin MU cables carry control signals operating at 74 volts DC. The pneumatic system utilizes main reservoir airlines and brake pipe connections, typically operating at 90 to 110 psi for main reservoir pressure and 90 psi for brake pipe pressure. Train lines also include communication cables for distributed power systems and GPS synchronization. The lead locomotive functions as the master unit, housing the primary engineer's control stand. Control signals are transmitted through the MU cable using standardized protocols. These include throttle position commands, dynamic brake settings, and reverser position. The trailing units operate as slaves, receiving and executing commands from the master unit. Modern systems employ microprocessor-based control modules that interpret digital command signals and translate them into appropriate traction motor control and brake application. In a multiple unit consist, each locomotive maintains its own prime mover and alternator system. The individual alternators feed their respective traction motor inverters, but the power output is coordinated through the MU control system. Modern AC traction systems use three-phase inverters that convert the alternator's AC output to variable frequency AC for the traction motors. The master unit's load regulator coordinates power output across all units, ensuring optimal wheel rail adhesion and preventing will slip through sophisticated torque management algorithms. Brake control and MU operation involves both pneumatic and dynamic braking systems. The engineer's brake valve in the lead unit creates pressure reductions in the brake pipe, which are sensed by the brake control valves on each locomotive. Dynamic braking is coordinated electronically, with the master unit commanding specific braking effort levels. The traction motors switch to generator mode, with the electrical energy either dissipated through resistor grids or fed back into the electrical system in newer regenerative systems. Modern distributed power systems utilize radio communication operating on AOR-designated frequencies, typically around 452 to 458 MHz. These systems allow for mid-train or rear-end remote locomotive control with GPS-based positioning for precise coordination. Safety systems include automatic train stop functionality or loss of communication triggers emergency brake application. Positive train control integration ensures compliance with signal aspects and speed restrictions across the entire consist. Current locomotive control systems feature CAN bus architecture for internal component communication and Ethernet-based networks for consist-level data exchange. These systems monitor hundreds of parameters including wheel slip, motor temperature, fuel consumption, and emissions output. Trip optimization systems use GPS data, track profiles, and consist characteristics to calculate optimal speed and power settings, reducing fuel consumption by 3 to 6% while maintaining schedule adherence. As the industry transitions toward hybrid and battery electric locomotives, MU operation faces new technical challenges. Power management systems must coordinate between diesel generators, battery storage, and potentially overhead catenary or third rail power sources. Standardized communication protocols like IEC 61375 are being adapted for railway applications to ensure interoperability between different locomotive technologies and manufacturers. Multiple unit operation represents a sophisticated integration of mechanical, electrical, and pneumatic systems. As locomotive technology evolves, these coordination principles continue to adapt, ensuring efficient and safe operation of increasingly complex railway consists. The future promises even greater integration capabilities as digital communication and advanced control systems enable seamless operation across diverse locomotive technologies.